falsely. Testifying at the Capitol in Austin last week. She's watching tonight. Tarrant County Sheriff Bill Wayborn got emotional. Her name's Alyssa and she's 15. And I apologize for the lateness of the evening and the motion as I go back and think about these things. Alyssa is his foster daughter who suffered medical abuse as a toddler. We later found out that she had introduced, you know, urine and feces through a feeding tube. It's called medical child abuse, also known as Munchausen syndrome by proxy. Now, a proposed law would allow law enforcement to investigate caregivers who knowingly lie about a person's symptoms or force them to undergo unnecessary medical treatment. When the big people get in the room, we ought to take care of the kids. Kids like Christopher Bowen, his mom sentenced to jail after abusing him for eight years with more than 300 hospital visits and 13 surgeries feeding tubes, a wheelchair, and in the end, doctors determined it was all unnecessary. While Wayborn backs the proposed law, it goes too far. Others oppose it. It's going to have unintended consequences. They argue innocent families might be targeted. As a parent of a medically complex child who has been through false allegations herself, I can tell you firsthand that medical records can be manipulated very dangerously and apparently very easily from the provider's side. There is no existing law targeting medical child abuse. Texas could be the first state to change that. In Tarrant County, I'm Adriana Dalba.